is a brand new look. Já to řekl. Já to actually přivolal. The best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition. Já se těším na Joe, přesně já se těším na Joe Fire, on mě zajímá Joe Off. Content, který může být ofenzivní pro nějaké diváky. Aha. Mě se teď bude sekat, kvůli tomu jsem použil ten speed. Hail to the king, baby. Talasi, jík do 51, děkuji ti. Matez, jík do 65. To je jenom začátek akce nebo jenom nějakého segmentu. Tohle je hlavní show, tohle je main, tohle je opening Summer Game Festu. Please welcome to the stage the creator of the Game Awards, Jeff Keighley. To je on, he's the man. OK, ukáž mi ten drip, prosky, nemá oblek dnes, ale jaký má boty, jaký má boty. Hello everybody, welcome to Summer Game Fest 2024. You ready to see some video games? Ano, já miluju video hry. We are so thrilled to be here with you and this is a showcase of what's next for games live from the YouTube theater here in LA. Now, if you're watching this show, first of all, welcome. I know everyone around the world is joining us for this special moment. And I know if you watch this show, you don't just play games, you deeply care about this art form and the health of this industry. The good news is that we have a lot of amazing games to show you from the creators around the world over the next two hours. Okay, so it's long, it's a long time. I hope you have time, chat. It's a long weekend. But let's also face it, this has been a tumultuous and difficult year with company layoffs and studio closures, which have disappointed all of us. But there's also something else happening. Our industry is evolving and changing. And thanks to digital distribution, smaller teams mm, and new creators are finding incredible success. Take Jeko a look at this list from game studio, the top kralu, best-selling new games on Steam so far this year. Two top 10 nejlepších, nejprávanějších her na Steamu a všechno to jsou indie, kromě Helldivers a Dragon's Dogma. come from indie, mid-sized teams or solo developers. I look at this list. Supermarket Simulator, I've never played. Hades Two is masterpiece. New ideas, new teams, and smaller creators can and will break through. It's a reminder to big companies that they have to treat their developers right because today there are many paths to sustainability and success, and that's what makes this industry so so great. Jako je, na, je nice, že máš to asi dropy, možná tady budou dropy. Warframe, Warframe drop by měly padat. Protože Please wish list it or even better send it to a friend and get them excited. That's how we together can grow the gaming community. And we are going to do that today over the next two hours. Jako je pravda, že na rozdíl od filmového průmyslu, tak hry furt můžeš být single developer a udělat něco jako Manor Lords a vydělat prostě miliony, nebo Lethal Company. Ve filmu se to dělá strašně těžko solo. Hudba ještě jde taky dělat solo. Hudba, hudba se taky hodně jako dala pro lidi. Kamo, on vyloženě hraje líp jak Melikar předtím než trouhne rán. Come on, Lego Horizon. Tips in the Twitter, who's pissed? Who's Aloy? Who's not? Who is that? That hot dog guy is Aloy, an amazing video game lead. Thunderjaw went mad and is tearing through the valley. Don't worry, I'll bring it down. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, hide me eye. And gunfire attack. A lonely hero 
cocktail hunting machines all by herself. Hello! I have friends, you know. Let's do this! Uh, right. A friendly <laughs> hero hunting with her pals. Oh, hey! What side are you on? Exploring. Wow, what is this place? <laughs> Collecting all the shiny things. Yo, Tsinkachka! Daft Bunk! To co postavila? Jako kdyby mi bylo 10, tak řeknu Tati, prosím, mohu dostat LEGO Horizon. Než vlastně ne, 10 ne, v 10 10 už jsem hrál Modern Warfare. There you go. Wasn't that fun? That was Lego. Yeah, maybe it'll also come out later this year for PlayStation, but also day one on PC and Nintendo Switch. It's a playful, light-hearted story inspired by the world of Horizon, designed with two-player action in mind, supporting couch and online co-op. All right, now we're going to completely shift the tone to the next game. Please join me in welcoming someone who I've known for over a decade. She's been a huge fan of some of our reveals, like Street Fighter VI a few years ago, and of course, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth last year, uh -huh. when she was sitting in the audience. Well, this year, she's joining us on stage. We're thrilled to have her with us. Please welcome Curious Joy. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Never Hi, everyone. See. I am so excited to be here at Summer Game Fest. I'm here with you today to share some even more super fun trailers. So let's get straight to another world premiere. This is a highly anticipated game from a beloved franchise. Let's take a look. As young witches and wizards, we all dream of soaring through the sky like our favorite heroes. Whoa! Whoa! Holy! We've all wondered, do I have what it takes? to be the next Quidditch star? No jo, vlastně, oni nedali ten fanfarpál do Hogwarts Legacy, protože říkali, že dělají samostatnou hru jenom s fanfarpálem, že jo? To keep your composure in the face of adversity. To chase your dreams at any price. Pravděpodobně se teďko Slováci říkají, čo? No challenge is too great. No dream is too big. Však hej, hraju metlobal, ne? Fifam prpal. <laughs> Dobré, ale jakoby nechytila zlatou strelu, takže nuda. Hail to the king, baby. Gachi Pulse rolling on on Twitter. Champions launching worldwide on September 3rd. Come on, the developers, it's a bit more delay. I'll be able to see it out before the rolling of on it's an application on Twitter. A brand new world. It hails from a single developer, Gavin Eisenbeis, up in Seattle, who has been making games all by himself for a decade. His last title, Choo Choo Charles, was a fan favorite. No, it's a machine cut to match. A few months ago, and I really wanted to debut it here. Get ready to backstab, race, or cooperate with up to 20 of your friends in Cuff Bust. Hail to the Cuff. Oh, and, uh... Tak tohle by Melichar měl umět, protože tuhle misi v Mafii hrál asi tisíckrát.
Jako očividně ta hra má stoky, takže musí být dobrá. Jako zkusili to, no. That's a fun one, right? I remember that's all made by one person. Congratulations, Gavin. So glad to have that on stage. Classic right, one man takeover. Next one of this year's most anticipated games is Star Wars Outlaws, coming out on August. Oh, Star Wars Axolotl. Film games, the first open world Star Wars game where you live the life of a scoundrel. On Monday at 12 p.m. Pacific, you'll get to see a full gameplay showcase during Ubisoft's Forward event, streaming as part no, of the Ubisoft Summer Game Forward Fest events. Jo, na ten se budeme right dívat, protože to mám v rámci sponzoringu. The game, just a small taste of what's to come. To není Axolotl, to je mlok. Je to Axolotl vesmírný, vyloženě vypadá jak, jak Axolotl. Ujej se na něj, jak je rostomilý a řekni mu, že to není Axolotl. To je ta čapová mise, co je loknutá za dražší edici, nebo na Playstationu, jedno z toho. Všichni na Twitchi mimochodem právě sledují Game Fest, jedině Melichar hraje Mafii, no protože Melichar ví, že ho nezajímají nové hry, když ještě má scénář na minimálně dalšího půl roku. Think I spotted Lando there, so great. And by the way, I just noticing everything we've shown you so far, I think is going to be, you know, coming out, uh, you know, this year, Cuff Bus, I'm not quite sure, but it's like, it's so cool that there's stuff that we're going to get to play in the next few months here. All right, well, moving back to smaller teams, a few weeks ago, I had a chance to play through this next game, and I have to say, it is really spectacular. Never comes from the Mada Studio, the creators of the Game Award winning game, Grease. It chronicles the story of Alba, a woman bound to a curious wolf cub. Here's your first ever look at the gameplay. Gris jako Gris bylo extrémně dobře hodnocený. To vyšly i vinily. Čeho, já fakt musím na záchod, já to nevydržím. Já musím jít dřív, než tam bude, je to kino, kam nebo něco. Trust me, that game is such a true work of art, especially when you get into some of the combat. It is tons of fun to play. And there's much more coming later today in the Devolver Direct, which will air directly after the Day of the Devs on this same stream. So we've got lots more for you. All right, next, it's time for our next game announcement. Study the past if you would define the future. All are architects of fate. Working in these walls of time. 
Let us all for death prepare, or on the last great journey fare. Let me not then die ingloriously and without a struggle. Ah, jsem misnul. Misnul trailer na nový dům. Co? Co je civilizace 7? Hello everyone at Summer Game Fest. On behalf of the Firaxis team, we are thrilled to finally announce that Civilization 7 is coming day and date to PC and consoles next year. I'm in awe of the amazing team that has brought us to this moment, but we also have to thank you, our incredible fans around the world, for your overwhelming support of this franchise for over 30 years. We can't wait to share more. Protože bude tak vystrašeně, bude na druhé straně stojí to Howard s pistolí a řekne, že jestli nezmíní nový update do Starfieldu, tak to koupí. Stay civilized. Monkey. To je lepo se dám fara stráječet, řekl jsem to. On mi táhnul Gom Jabar, a ne, je velký. Ok, ale tohle nesoluju. Hrajem day one, týden potom hrajem Star Wars. Pre-order, je sběratelka jo, to není moc hezká soška teda, ale... A je tam early přístup, když máš nejdražší edici, neviděl jsem, nestihl jsem to projít. VR hry vypadá jak hry z roku 2005 a přitom no, VR je super. Dá se definitivně, s ním jsem se zaměřil na ten nádor nahoře. Even in the depths of the unknown, like mayflies, we die to live again. The days gone by, that we never got. The smallest creatures were the only ones standing. We stand together. Hail to the king, baby. Nevidím nějaký extra velký rozdíl. To mají nastavený globálně špatně, podle mě. Podle mě. Yeah, yeah, 
I've only as you faced tyrannids before. Only these past two days. Správně. Správně. The numbers are endless. I will take you all with me. Brothers, we fight! For Ultima! Space Marine. Gameplay over here, 20. června. 9. září release. All right, welcome back to Summer Game no, Fest. Uh, we got some amazing developer guests joining us throughout the show. And I'm very excited to introduce our Ragnar first guests. Vzáří. They are legendary creators who are working on a brand new fantasy RPG metaphor slated to launch Stalker this October. Vlastně, Please pravda. welcome Stalker the director and dvojka, designer of Persona God of War, Ragnarok, 3, 4, and 5, Katsura Hoshino and Shikanori Sojima. Překládej to jak Vortex. Já nejsem Vortex. Thank you, everybody. It is a pleasure to be here. My name is Hashino, and I'm the director of Metaphor. It is a pleasure to be here with Mr. Soejima. This this game is an RPG in which the party members transform into their jobs, which we call archetypes. These archetypes allow you to fight against your enemies. Angličtinu máš hrozno, ale my tě stejně máme rádi. V pořádku, když to streamuješ za mě, nějaký třeba tříhodinový stream, fajnčně, já si to rád poslechnu. Archetypes are the embodiment of power born from the will to face your fears and anxieties. We gave it our all to instill each and every archetype with a feeling of strength and uniqueness in each of their designs. In total, there will be more than 40 types of archetypes available in the game. These archetypes can gain experience and even evolve some of them in a stronger version. Tuke mělo na Twitteru trailer na čtvrtou mafii a okamžitě to stáhli. Má se to odehrávat v 70. letech na Kubě a na konci bylo Duben 2025. To je nějaký. Thank you very much and we hope you enjoy it. It is said that we all have inherited heroic virtues deep within us. The reality is, we oppress, we fight. A great evil flows through this land. You have found a way to wield true magic. Many more protectors and followers will gather to your side. Remind people that the same powers lie dormant within them. On guard! You must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. How's this? Gower! No holding back! Now you've acquired a most interesting power. An archetype whose existence was only theoretical. You wield power now. To není pro mě, ale dobré výpsuží si to. Já to nemyslel s patnáctou anglickou pardon. Zlomyslel. Visual designs. 
Now we're gonna jump into the Arkhamverse. Batman Arkham Shadow is a MetaQuest 3 exclusive VR game coming later this year. As Batman, Come you face a new threat, the Suicide Squad. Rat King and his cultish The Sodder Bros. Suicide Squad, a Batman, prostě Arkamácky ho dají na VR only, tak ať nevím, no. Ten Reeve znám. There's a new darkness overtaking Gotham, driving the city mad. The only light left is from the fire in the streets, casting shadows of rats on everything that was once good. Kevin Conroy. So smashing pumpkins, man. Fear is their weapon, but they're not the only ones who can use it. Yeah, let's just stop it. Rat King will stop at nothing to destroy bullet with butterfly city. wings cover. How far will I go to destroy him? Hail to the king, maybe. Does not Kevin Conroy that in a bad sarcasm regimes, huh? Já vím, že jako říkali u toho Suicide Squad, že to je poslední jako dubbing uh, Batmana od Kevina Conroye, ale pak to nějak změnili, že ještě něco z těch nadabovat. Já nechápu, že tvůrci hry, který chtějí expanovat na světový trh, nemají znovost angličtiny a potřebují překladatele. Bro, prostě objevili Japonce! Prostě týpek objevili, že existují Japonci. Já ti normálně řeknu, že ještě existují Francouzi. My Shiranui. Geralt. Mění Maj Shiranui, definitivně. Už se těším, je čas se na Twitter, jestli už jsi, jestli jsi shodli, jestli že jí zmenšili prsa nebo ne. We fucking did it, lads, the four hours! Choose a job, choose a career, choose a fucking washing machine. It shan't be in Scottish. We are the worst of the worst, scum of the fucking earth. And any amount of a fresh air won't make a fucking difference. Tyhle hry jsem hrál na super hrách, fakt jo. Myslím, že si myslíš, že jsi hrál takovýhle hry na super hrách. Bohužel, vzhledem k tomu, že už tě není 10, když jsi to teď spustil, tak zjistíš, že jsi existoval s růžovými brýlemi. Colonized by wankers. A v koupíčku, no.
Roguelike, viděl jsem tam nějaký cestičky, si vybíráš, se jedeš doleva, doprava, takový Darkest Dungeon. Já nechám, už to mají tak potichu celou tu, celou tu konferenci. Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, ty vole ty názvy, ty, 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 ty pod názvy jsou top. There you go, internet, we got your release date for Sparking Zero, October 11th. Now like we step in the world Zero. of Delta Force Hot Ops, Ops, a free-to-play tactical shooter available to play on all platforms. Here's a look at their multiplayer FPS extraction mode. Team, rally up. We've got a new mission, Operation Lightning Strike. The situation at Zero Dam is now very serious. The conflict's escalating between Havoc Corps and Alsara Guard. It's time to take action. Objective. Collect and decode the Mandelbrick, located at the tourist center at the southeast region. We need to utilize terrain for stealth insertion. Execute swiftly and silently. We're in position. Well, I'm body cam, so we can zap all the enemy. You want to check that? Let them multiply, Joe. We need to pick up the pace. Zachycenu na plc. Hezký laser. Kdo jim dělal ty loadouty na ty zbraně? Mají docela pěkný laser a mířidla. PC Alpha, vlete. But that is not all. The game's premium campaign mode, Black Hawk Down, is a reimagining of the original game that is also fully licensed to recreate moments from the award-winning Ridley Scott movie. Here is your world premiere first look at that gameplay. Až oni mají k tomu ještě skampaň, která je černý je strap se střelen licence. Okay. Ale reálně celou tu konferenci mají prostě ty trailery, fakt nahraný v nějakým divným bitradu. update for you on Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. <laughs> for real this time. For real this time. For real, for real. Have the Vittles high set. Oh. 
Gaming je zachráněn! Gaming je tak moc back! Já se sakravinsky miluju východní hry! Ty pičo. Proč do Halo Infinite, který je kolik tři roky starý, přidávají teďko Dolby Atmos? To je to, takhle si představuje Viktor, že hraje Halo, když si sedne k, tyvo, k televizi. Super no, jako bomba no, do, jako, do tři roky starého Halo, ty vole, který jako... Nevím, jako čí splnění, ty vole, jako... Místo koopu jsme potřeba tady dostali Adobe Atmos. No jistě, už je tady Viktor v chatu. <laughs> prostě, ty vole, tohle je to, co ho probudilo. Ještě se probudí zítra, teda ne zítra, v neděli na kodečko review. Ty pečka dostala gang zbušeno. Ten drop na Twitchi během té konference je do Warframeu. Papa! Battle Crash, aha. Jo, Gundamové, jo. Já miluju roboty. Mně se vždycky líbí, jaký mají trailery a pak to vypadá jak Fall Guys. Ty vole to zní, jak kdyby, když hra, že když hra dopadne jako Fall Guys gameplayově, tak je to fail. Což mi teda nepřijde jako lo. Saw Transformers. So to robot you auto. We're back here at Summer Game Fest, and that was a look at Mecha Break with its immersive aerial and ground combat with lightning fast maneuvers. Next, Jason Blum and his Blumhouse banner have become synonymous with incredible mm. horror films over the years, like oh, Get no. Out of Megan and last year's Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, now Blumhouse is entering the video game world in a big way. No, Blumhouse, aka Horror of a Powerhouse, poslední deseti let. Megan, Five Nights at Freddy's, Blackfall. Ty byla ne, to jako ani nejsou jejich největší hity. Když udělali ty udělali těch hororových filmů za posledních deset let tolik. Blumhouse je strašný powerhouse. Dark times await us. Vengeance will take shape. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. I must not sleep. I am terrified to sleep. 
And I am scared to death to stay awake. Don't worry, Viv. If any ghosts actually show up, I'll protect you. Ty vole, takže jako Blam, Blamhouse se rozhodl, že místo toho, aby dělali 10 hororových filmů ročně, tak oni prostě udělali 10 her hororových. Což jako by vzhledem k tomu, že mám strašně rád horory, mi vůbec jako nevadí. Navíc každá je od jiného studia a vypadá jinak, no. Kronenberg? Ty vole, tak to je jako pěkný reveal, kamaráde. To teda jako nelhal, že vstupují ty ve, že vstupují na tvrdo do gamingového světa. Ale je pravda, že horor jako ve filmu funguje Please tak, že jsou nízké náklady a celkem garantované zisky. Tak jestli to se jim, pře, jestli se jim podaří tohle jako převíst do herního světa, tak proč ne? No. Hey guys, so we got ourselves a full slate there. That's incredible. So, so Jason, tell us a bit about uh, why did you want to get into games like this? What are we doing? Well, we've been uh, very, very busy. Um, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having us. Thank you guys all. Great to hear uh, the fans out there. Uh, you'll, you'll all be very happy to know we're working at this very minute on the sequel of Five Nights at Freddy's. It's coming. Jo, FNAF 2 v kině. Anyway, ano, správně. Is, uh, Nemůžu se dočkat. To my great relief, getting more and more popular. Our movies are working. It's working on streaming. It's working in live events. And we wanted to try and take our approach to movies and apply it to games. And that's yeah. what you see here. We're going to do independent games. We're going to look for creators and give them a platform and, and encourage these creators to be weird and subversive and find the most effed up, scariest things they can and put them into really <laughs> cool games. <laughs> Well, they, they look they look great. It's a really diverse, cool slate. Uh, Luis, tell us a bit about, we saw a bunch of games there. What can you tell us about kind of the overall lineup of games? Well, as you just saw from our slate, our horror games are a lot like Blumhouse movies. They come in many different flavors of fear, which means there's a horror game for everyone. So maybe you're a fan of nostalgic 90s experiences with a bit of a twist, intense first-person shooters, Or maybe, Jeff, you just want some bonus murder in your otherwise very cozy farming sim. <laughs> I think, you know, we as horror fans, we know that there are so many different subgenres to explore. And our independent development partners, they feel the same and they're just as excited, which means we've got psychological nightmares, we have supernatural scares, we have so cosmic horror. 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 And our team has worked really hard mm, to work with global Because creative them to move talented talented partners. partners. And, and that means 50 -50. for us that... We really want to, as we're working in indie projects, yeah. which means that we can take risks, you know, we can be flexible, and really we can push the limits of what's possible in scary storytelling, and we're so excited. Yeah, no, it, it looks, looks awesome, all the stuff you have there, and I know, you know, we'll get into when games are coming out, but some of these are coming Asi soon, jsem this, neměl right? chodit na to well, yeah, we're on, uh, we're on PC and console, nemocen. and, um, and, uh, Yeah, we wanted to start with uh, with not just one, but we wanted to start with a few games. So, uh, so you want to you want to tell us about those? Yeah. So, Fear the Spotlight is our first release coming yeah. later this year, and it really hits our mission statement. It's an amazing '90s horror experience. It's got great characters, a compelling narrative. It's also super creepy, and I think people will be big fans of it, even if you're not normally into horror. And quickly, actually, Fear the Spotlight is getting its first trailer as part of the yeah. Day of the Dev showcase. So, stay tuned after the show. Directly after. Awesome. Well, I know this is just. Just the start, so we'll probably be seeing you in future years with more from uh, Blumhouse Games. But guys, what do you think of the slate? Pretty amazing, right? What these guys are pulling off. Jason, Luis, thanks so much for being here on Summer Games. Thank you, guys. All right. Papa. And now, here's the world premiere of a brand new Power Rangers game with a Whoa. Retro Whoa. Oh. Power Rangers Marathon.
Já od těch, co dělali ty poslední želvy ninja, ten beat em up, tu shredderovou pomstu. A za celá kůž tam jsou tyhle ty sekvence, které nejsou jenom jako 2D side scroll, ale jsou tady nějaký, že jedeš dopředu nebo střílíš. To je celkem sweet. on má obočí. Chakos! Pranais. What a beautiful game, Deer and Boy, which comes from first-time developer Jason Houdet in Paris, who started that project alone in 2020 during the pandemic and now has a team of eight helping him realize his vision with financial aid from the French government and games like that or why we do this show. Ty vole, tak teď Dan Vávra se naštval, protože řekli, vyvíjí to s finanční podporou francouzského státu. Dan Vávra už píše na Facebook. Čo? Děláme mi... Is a brand new look. Já to řekl. Já to actually přivolal. The best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition. Man proposes, but God disposes, and then boots you right in the balls. Ty trošky parajím. I need to find them. One's a smart-ass smith, and the other's a blue-blooded fledgling. You behave like a spoiled brat. How dare you speak? <laughs> Gentlemen, praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Father, there are many sinners in this world. <laughs> no, he's yeah. But in the end, we all face your judgment for what we should have done. But lacked the courage to do. The last time I ran away, I lost everything. I'm never gonna run from that fucker again. Kiss our asses! God, <laughs> is this retribution for my sins? To the task! Yo, what's it, Quebec? To the fucking task. Oh, what noise, yeah. Can't see skit on any good job you did, all no. Next, we step into the dark mind of Silent Hill creator Kyuichiro Toyama-san. Back in 2021, we announced his new game, Slitherhead, at the Game Awards. Now, we're going to play the whole match. It's like a Tokyo-based studio. To jste od toho tvůrce Silent Hill, to je ten Splitterhead, to myslím, že už líknulo odpoledne.
Frajer má vestičku, jak kdyby ty vole vyšel z Evil Within. Vůbec nevypadá, že by to ty monstra hitovalo jako reálně ty animace toho úderu jako a pery. Vůbec nevypadá, že by, jako, že by si je čímkoliv, že by jakkoliv reagovali na to, že je mlátíš. Ha! Ha! Okay. Čau, otázka na tělo, čím se lepší než ostatní streameři. Tím, že ti... Bez jakéhokoliv strachu řeknu, že jsi otravný kokot, když se díváme na prezentaci a ty přijdeš s touhle s tou otázkou. Oh, konečně dobrá hra! That's what I call a dramatic entrance. There's a reason why I'm called Killer Bean. It's because I'm good at what I do. So cheap. Really. Good. I used to be an assassin for the Shadow Agency. An international organization powerful enough to shoot me. Gaming, get back. He is balling. And trying to kill me. Now, I'm gonna destroy them. <laughs> You're the gosh darn idiot who wants to take down the Shadow Agency. <laughs> well, it is sure nice to meet you. Before you die. To be on a baller. Bean zombies. They made me who I am, and I will make them pay for it. Ti koko. Glad you like that one. That was Killer Bean, a third-person roguelike shooter. Made by another single developer, -like. or not, okay. right here in Los Angeles, Jeff Liu, who previously worked as an animator on movies like The Matrix Reloaded. Um, so fun! It's amazing what can happen in this industry. All right, to introduce their brand new game, please welcome from the Game Bakers, a small independent studio in Montpellier, France, Audrey Le Prince and Emmerich Ta. Hello, Jeff. Everyone, I'm very happy to be here. When we created our studio, Emmerich and I, we promised each other to Anger always come up with something new. But so after for Alexis, Fury so... and Haven, we're here to introduce our new game, Cairn, a survival climber. When I was a teenager, uh, my dad prepared an expedition to Mount K2, but half of his team didn't come back. And I've always wondered why do alpinists risk their lives in such extreme conditions? This is something we wanted to explore uh, in Cairn. Cairn is a game about what it takes to go beyond your limits. 
you climb a mountain to reach a summit never reached before. And the climbing gameplay is a challenge. It's very intense and realistic. Karen, Karen. And what you're going to see in the trailer is not from cutscenes. It's the actual climbing gameplay. Lezecká hra Vojtás. Dobré, čet, ale to nebude My už jsme hráli na, my už jsme hráli skrze Game Pass uh, tu hru, jak se jmenovala, ten je You Sound. Byl lezecký, že jo, s soundtrackem příjemným, pěknou atmosférou, to byl jako na jeden stream. Protože to bude podle mě podobný. Nervíčky, červíčky. Čo je to dobré, no, tak si zaklikuj. Ale proč furt tak řve, ty vole? To se to fakt mělo jmenovat Karen. <laughs> Mí nasralo, že ona si myslela, že vylezla na vrchol a <laughs> teď vidí, že před ní jsou tři další skály. Každá větší než ta předchozí. <laughs> Počkal tvůrců Stanley Parable, ha? I'm a fighter. I'm meant to be in the arena. In combat. But instead... I'm out here in the middle of the woods, running a tea shop. So, what does running a tea shop involve? Well, there's a lot of gardening. And I've had to get used to the pretty unique tea machine they've got here. None of these tasks are all that hard, they just take patience. Ona vaří. And I'm not Ona destiluje, really takže se budou dělat uh, lektvary v Kingdom Come Dvojce. Of course, I have to actually serve the tea to our customers. Máte větší kravatu. Bylo už kino kam dva? Jo, už byl nový trailer. I can stop running now. I can stop. I can stop. I can stop running. This is good for me. I need to enjoy this. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. Byl nějak, to byl temný twist tady na konci s Coffee Shopem. That was Wonderstop, the announcement of the next game from Davy Redden, the creator of the Stanley Parable. I sense there's a twist. Tohle to se jaký říkám před pátou honíkou dne, dobré če. Alright, now here's a look at the story trailer for Unknown 9 Awakening, a narrative action adventure game that tells the story of Haruna, a young woman born with the ability to venture into the fold, a dimension that overlaps our own. Turn your thoughts inward and focus on your shade. Do you feel it? I do. Your progress is impressive lately, Aruna. These are incredible. They called themselves the Sahin. Nine among them were chosen and shielded from death. The unknown nine. Does this have anything to do with why Vincent is here? Well, I mean, it's like bad lad. Humanity has lived for eons at the mercy of the Queen. It's time we took control of our own destiny.
Why are you so interested in Vincent, anyhow? He killed someone I loved. Remember stepping. Find your target and bridge the gap. You don't belong here. You're wrong. This is exactly where I'm meant to be. The fold is a strange place. Vincent found something down there. Jako skrze, skrze ty kvéry a tu stylizaci té techniky, to vypadalo trošičku zajímavější. No? Monster Hunter Stories. Ha. Resident Evil! Kino Kam 2 už byl trailer před asi 10 minut a ano. A ah, teď jsou zrá, co bylo teďko to demo, nebo Early Access. Jsem to nehrál, ale koukal jsem se na to chvilku. Jak se odpálil? Frajer hrál Quake 3 Arenu. Angar je jináčí hra, to si pletete. Má street cred, tak ho nechali projít. Demo available now. Ty vrži, že bych si dal demo. Er, viděl jsem 72 hodin early access, když máš deal access edici, takže to je pro mě. The first descendant, powered by Unreal Engine 5, is a next-gen looter shooter with dynamic cooperative gameplay, including a grappling hook mechanic. It is finally set for release and we're very happy here to debut the new trailer and the reveal of the release date. Kombi na pláži v podpacích, nerealistické. Druhý červen se už, OK, tak léto je prázdný, jak to můžu zkusit. That looks awesome. The first descendant will be available across PlayStation, Xbox and Steam. Wishlist it now and prepare for the release on July 2nd. And now, please welcome two developers whose hit indie game Among Us took the nebyl. world by storm nah. and a couple of game awards. <laughs> From Inner Sloth, here are Victoria Tran and Forrest Willard. <laughs> What's up, gamers? <laughs> Can you, can you believe they just let us be on this stage? Like, no chaperones, like... I know. Can we announce something totally fake? Oh, do you, do like, you think they'll let us do that? Among Us 2? Among Us 3? 4? Oh, all right. Okay, well, that's a hotline, man. Turns out we actually have something very real we wanted to present to you all today. Uh, there's been so many great Bro, games no in recent years, years, but so? it's also been a sec no secret Dobre, that chat, drž tep, chat, it's kind drž of a rough time in the Some devs don't really get the chance they deserve, so we thought we could help out a little bit. That's why we're excited to announce our side project, Outer Sloth, an indie game fund we made that 
offers the kind of deals we would have wanted back in our less popular Among Ye days. This is our way of saying thank you to our crewmates, players, peers, by helping some games and devs have the funding and freedom needed to ship their games. And then we all get to play them, which was the real plan. I, I really want games. <laughs> Outer Sloth is our passion project and dream for a better, more sustainable industry. We are really excited and incredibly, incredibly nervous <laughs> to reveal it here and show you the current lineup of games we've managed to fund because of you. And don't worry, Jeff, it has your favorite, a ton of world premieres. Enjoy! <laughs> Luku, prosím tě, Luk, Skywalk a včetu, jestli nepřestaneš psát absolutně schizozhulenecký hovna, já ti tam reálně po supermu. Jsi kombinace parasociálního a vyhulenýho. Hi, I'm Ian from Shapeshot, and you may already be playing our first game, Mars First Logistics. We are Trinket Studios, creators of Battle Chef Brigade, and this is our card battler RPG, Battle Suit Aces. We are Studio Any Percent, and we are making the Marsfield Archives, a game about building and exploring connections. Hi, we're Midnight Munches. We just released a demo for one button bosses. Our boss is with a single button to press and a ton of bosses to beat. Hey, I'm Husband, game director at Huscrofts, and this is Rogue Eclipse, our epic spaceflight action roguelike, where you'll have to customize and master your starfighter, take on merciless armadas, and vanquish a fleet of colossal super destroyers. And we do have one more game that's very early in development. Hi, I'm Eka, creative director of Outer Loop Games, makers of Thirsty Suitors, and Falcon Age. In our new game, explore the world in an upgradable mech and cook up tasty dishes for local communities. Fight off corpos, discover new dosa recipes, and reunite with your strange loved ones for one last meal. Project Dosa is a game about life, death, love, and food for the soul. <laughs> Thanks, Victoria and Forrest. Those all look fantastic, and I cannot wait to play them. But all of those amazing indie games aren't the only thing coming out of Inner Sloth. Did you know that there's going to be an Among Us TV show? <laughs> Sounds like you did. Yes, there's going to be an Among Us TV show. Check out this sneak peek. Na co jsem to kurva přišel? My jsme byli už o čtyři trailer, dobré, že? Up next, we have Sonic X Shadow Generations. Sonic, on. A definitive greatest hit collection of 3D and 2D levels from Sonic and Shadow's history. Now it's time for a glimpse of Shadow's brand new powers and gameplay from a standalone campaign, as well as the official release date announcement. Nestihodrý stok Jensenov akronym kabátu, i když už je hubený. To je koko ten Viktor. Už je po půlnoci, dneska je tool time, it's tool 
Show time! Čau, to ten trailer vypadá dobře, ale cena nový Sony hry se bude zvyšovat oproti ostatním AAA hrám z důvodu inflace. Jestli mi nevěříš, bych Google si Sonic Inflation. Dneska je taky Octagon Fedenu. No, tak to je definitivně ta důležitější akce. No. Už nemůžu dočkat ty vole, až to dopadne jako úplně kurva po každý od roku 2018 nebo 2019. Já 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 One where I, Paul Atreides, was never born. Come on, prostě ty vole. To je jaký vůsi má. I created the future. With the methane we all. Until it created me. But I see a narrow way. I know. The path that might have been. What if my mother had obeyed her orders and given birth to a girl? Everything would change. Dr. Yue exposed before his betrayal. A world where my father lives. House Atreides surviving the Battle of Arakeen. Sardaukar deployed to protect the Spice Melange. A war of assassins spreading across the planet. Fremen terminated Duna is like Star Wars Duna is Star Wars pro lidi co poslouchají Pink Floyd nebo tu Lizan al Gayib On to řekl No Quizat Hadarak All of my visions lead to horror Except for this Jak bylo předpovězeno This one leads to you Hail to the king Zajímavý trailer, no, tohle to je takový jako, že vlastně ten příběh se může odehrávat jinak než v knížkách a ve filmu. To mi připomíná tu poslední Walking Dead hru. Z té hry už jsou liknutý fotky. Dobré, ještě. To tell us more about Battle Aces and show you the gameplay, here's David Kim from Uncapped Games. Thanks, Jeff. David Chef. Kim. So Battle Aces is the RTS game for everyone. It's for players that are brand new to RTS as well as RTS veterans. We really want to bring the core fun of RTS to everybody, kind of like how games such as World of Warcraft did for MMOs or Hearthstone did for card games. So, Battle Aces is an action-packed army Hearthstone. versus army game that has a high emphasis on the strategy. We so, yeah, want to bring this type of very specific RTS fun no! for players in two major ways. Na světě jsou miliardy Azeatů, tak pro sebe dělají hry, no to je konec. 
A jako já vím, že každý jako prostě, já chápu, že každý rok jsou Oscaři a herní show připomenutí toho, že jako ty vole zrovna Biloši z Česka nejsou jako úplně ty vole majorita planetární, ale populační. Vyhlád rychle, než mongolové zničit celvel. Ok, dobré, moc, moc, tady jste na rasista včetnu. Dobrý přednes, dobrý přednes. Lepší jak Kojima. Tady mě si musím vydat sportu, protože nechci mi snout Duma. Doom bude v neděli, jestli bude. Samling dropnul tohle. Aha. Aha. Finals ještě jsou. Myslím, že asi Jatovi je zase do prdele, je u prdele nějaká středověká blbost z Česka. Ty to by se zdivil, protože taky jinou kam dvojka má normálně japonský dubbing day one. A jednička měla taky, nebo ne day one, ale přidaný. Zrovna jako Japonci nebo Aziati obecně mají docela rádi tu středověkou kulturu Evropy a historii. OK, jest to bylo hezky, ale ty jsi zničitelný prostředí. The finals in Kyoto. All right. Please welcome multiple Game Awards winner and a dazzling Game Awards performer, if I do say so myself, Sam Lake from Remedy. Oh, no. Come on, Todd Sozandal. Bro, I think that's enough. Thank you. Hi. You see, this is now the only way they let me come on stage <laughs> to tell you something exciting. News about Alan Wake 2. Many of you have been posting your Remedy Game collection pictures on your shelves with Alan Wake 2 so far digital only. Sadly missing. Physical release. Well, we are excited to announce physical deluxe editions. Konečně. And physical collectors editions. What? For Alan Wake 2. Victoria! Coming this fall. You can lock in your copy starting tomorrow. Next, we promised you some expansion Hail content king, for Alan Wake 2. Right. I'm thrilled to introduce you all to Night Springs. Ooh, but need to see by the in-game television show. With three familiar fan favorite playable characters in mysterious, terrifying and quirky what if scenarios. It was a chance for us to really go out there, as if we already didn't. <laughs> Night Springs will be playable in less than 24 hours <gasps> tomorrow. No, it's not Thank cool. you. Now, with this world premiere, I invite you to step into Night Springs. Night Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there, and yet always familiar to us in 
Midnight Springs. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. <laughs> and I will come back for you, my love. And cut. Sean, I'm really happy. This is gonna get strange. Nice, and yeah. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature. Something was different. Come on, don't listen so visually. I'm not the tool show. Try the coffee. I have a shotgun. <laughs> Wait, is that? That's a real shotgun. What? I mean, so I turned around. Steve Olet, so that boy, Alan Wake. Rabbit hole goes in night springs. Hail to the king, baby. Through the endless tides of time, they've come to these mythical shores. Seeking to be on the edge of the collector, Kala, and wake up, wake up, be just a rat, or to be just a rat. Copil. A cruel and beautiful paradise where primal. To bude zase vůbec hra. Dostal jsem jméno Alan Wake, takže logicky to je probuzený. Koupil more like dostal. Ty byl zrovna na kolektorku Kalanu Wakeovej dvojice, to bude, to je přes fanshop, to nebude u nás tady skrze distribuci. That's right, New World, New World Eternum will launch on PS5, Xbox Series X and S and PC on no, October 15. No, I don't think so. And now so. you can play the game start to finish as a solo player or play co-op and use cross-play as well. If you're watching SGF on TikTok Live right now, you can comment HSR in the chat to find a special live, in game bundle for kamo. Honkai Star Rail of Stellar Jade from TikTok Game Rewards. A and speaking of Honkai Star Rail, Hoyoverse's latest space fantasy RPG just concluded its version 2.3 special program a few hours ago. But there's more. A sneak peek at the upcoming ex expedition featuring a beloved character who is clearly ready for the forthcoming journey with her brand new look. Nah. Why do people choose to sleep? Okay, jak dlouho to bude trvat, než tam bude postava, která vypadá jako desetiletá. Oh my god, mommy is club okay. Čili je postavě není tisíc let podle Loru, sorry. Thou are not alone. So that popping minus this is what you know. She is GG. Ha! That's 
so zando za pery. Co na povím, že má dobrovej rande v tý z tých řez vejbej. Pojď se rád Ubisoft Forward v pondělí, a ano. On to domluvený s Ubisoftem, budu mít nějaký dropy pro vás. Play for free! It's free real estate. Ocenil bych nějaký RPG ve stylu Metin 2. Aha. Dark and Darker is now live on both Steam and Epic Game Store today. Existe a path of exile. All right, lots of fans are joining us here in person at the YouTube Theater, and we thank you for that. And ahead of the show, four lucky fans were upgraded to our VIP section thanks to the Discover Orange Ticket upgrade. With Discover, you don't have to be a VIP to be treated like one. All right, now here's the announcement of the release date for Capcom's upcoming Kunitsugami: Path of the Goddess. Dobré, jako by, ale kapkom tam mohl mít jináčí, hů. Tady máš Metin 3. Metin je nejlepší MMORPG, já souhlasím, aby MMORPG bylo doopravdy úspěšně, jak musí být, aspoň trochu pay to win. A musí mít každý, každý tři měsíce reset private serveru. Pre-order today? No, I don't think I will. I'm going to go to the mobile app, I'm going to go to the mobile app, I'm going to go to the mobile app, I'm going to go to the Na shopu ještě nemají. Ale ne, ne. Ale ne. Ty tam vždycky křičí jenom pár lidí. Jako v tom, jako v tom to divadle, no. Tak to bude možná tím, že ostatní nechtě by otravný kokotí. What? Oni přijeli, oni do svá přidají. Racing. To je napsaný info k tý kolektorce. Jo, že to mají přes limited run, jo. Ok, to si myslel. Ďakujeme, že jsme tady, kde rúles? 
I can't stop thinking about how you're saying we're selling the city for scraps. That makes me sick. That makes my whole family sick to their stomachs. Stay my right. wife hasn't been on the toilet for weeks because of what you're saying about what M Corp's doing to this town. All those lies. The girl's not made in the way by show. I want an no, Judas, vodka, and Alevina, baby, which was not made in the This is business. Look around, pal. This is how businesses are run. Now, you should have known that when you were hired on, okay? Jack, tissues. Come on, pal. Ah! That's not about this. That's a that's a father and son. That's actually a home issue. We love it here at MCOR. And we are not going anywhere. We'll be here a long time. Kreativní učednictví. All right, uh, welcome back to Summer Game Fest, and now let's head to Sam Vansterdam for a new look at Skate from EA. Hey, Jeff, how you doing, bud? Oh, crap. Some really bad stuff's happening out there. They're gonna need a lot of help cleaning that up. That's bad. Hmm, then the podzim playtesting, no real skate each cool. Very exciting that people will finally be able to play skate on console in the near future. Our next world premiere is an indie sensation from Japan that is adorable, deadly, and has over 25 million players nah. worldwide. Nah. That's right, I'm talking about okay. Power World. I mean, just look at the giant depresso. Cheer up, buddy. It's Summer Game Fest. Now, here is the first major update announcement. A whole new island is coming. Což se někdo hraje, to tam metlá hra. Čili ten developer přímo říkal, že to není hra, která jako by měla být, že nečekal, že to ještě jako to, že to je hra, co si za měsíc nahraje, nahraješ. Pak to necháš být, že neměli žádný ambice to držet dlouho jako live service nebo nekonečný content a lávovko. Doom bude v neděli na Microsoftu. Jestli bude. Lámalo to rekordy. Dělat ty updaty tak rychle, aby to jako uspokojilo ty hráče. Ale proto je tady teď rozšíření, že to můžeš znovu nainstalovat a dát do toho třeba další dva týdny. To ne. To ne. Since 2020, we have been able to do a new update we call the Valorant moment. The big plays and clutches you make while all eyes are on you. Millions of players all over the world have earned their own Valorant moments on PC. And today, the stage is set to welcome a whole new group of players. Let's take a look. Just go pit pit city or risk in a hurry. Do the ball again, Jack, to you, Lam. Pořád lepší než nudný CSK, ale tady se nedají tak dobře otevírat bedny. Co je tady za Twitter? Co já? Jo, to je z Ben Alan Wake. Physical Editions. No one 
Yes it. To co tam bylo za dvojku? Očeká se tady třeba nový trailer na GTA 6. No jasný no. Everything you just saw was captured on console and with a controller. Rockstar většinou rád chodí na konference. Kde jsou ty časy, kdy Čeky hrál kompetitivní hry? Kdy jsou v době, kdy mu do toho dropovali klíče, což byl jediný moment, co ty vole vystřelil. Do toho by vůbec něco takového hrál. A my hlavně, že vás 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 Thanks guys. Hey everyone. One of my favorite things about Valorant has been seeing the community build the game and the sport right along with us. For the last four years, we have been on the most amazing journey, bringing Valorant to players all around the world. Most recently, to Dobre, ale jako by je vidět, že to čteš, takže ti nevěřím, sorry. To je za Seeing the community evolve as new players bring their passion and expression to Valorant has been the biggest joy of the ride so far. And now we are ready and so so excited. So we hope you'll join us and we can't wait to see where you take us next. Taperské prince. Exciting to have Riot on console with Valorant. Thanks for the team at thanks to the team at Riot for sharing that with us here at SGF. Our next announcement is a big deal from our friends at DoorDash. Five weeks of deals with Summer of Dash Pass. Sign up for Dash Pass. Volt Agrelus, Volt Code Agrelus. Všichni členové Volt Plus. Mají momentálně přístup k Volt Weeks, kde mají vybraný restaurace slevy na celý menu až 40%. Například Pizza Hut, Burger King a další. V hlavě 2 trailer. Welcome to your eternal fate. Oh, Lance Slashblade? But he's a video game character. Why is he here? Yeah, I always thought Riley had a secret crush on him. I never saw the appeal. I long to be a hero, but darkness haunts my past. Oh, I'm in a hundred percent. We were all banished here, deemed unfit, worthless. <gasps> Don't you dare say that. You do not deserve to be thrown away. Uh, one second, Lance. <laughs> Don't you remember his power move? I'm coming for you, Riley! Oh, yeah? What's this? Come on! No one is totally worthless. But I am a warrior cursed with a feeble attack. Then you must make your curse your gift. Shield yourself, my friends, for I shall set you all free! <laughs> The number one gaming monitor brand in the U.S., Samsung, just released new 2024 monitors for gaming, work, and entertainment. Scan the QR code now to get up to $300 Samsung credit. Přesně, podle mě jim z té zavařovačky měl pomoct ten frajer z toho jistýho videa jeden muž, jedna zavařovačka. Hovno, to je Tom! Look at all of you cooped up watching video game announcements. And yes, chicken does look a lot like Ken Jeong, and today, Chicken is excited to share a new game that Chicken and Chicken's buddies are in called Squad Buster. Mods. Monsters collect lots of shiny things and Chicken Some has cool a big role. That's all that matters. And here is our big ad. Squad up 
Look at your phone. I'm the chicken. <laughs> We're here to make your life more fun. I'm fine. I drink, I drink right out of the carton. Well, I don't think you know the definition of fun. Come on, get up. I am butt naked from the waist down, so... Get out of the f***ing bed, dude. Get out of the bed. All right. Tell me about yourself. I, I think I'm an excellent candidate for the job uh, because... Uh, uh, because your sword play, tell me about your sword play. He is a bridge. He's one of the most uh, equitable yeah. people I've ever met. So great emotionally. Yeah. Also, I've pillaged a few villages. I'm not a lawyer. Okay. I'm just a lumberjack. I just don't think you're qualified to be an accountant. So. <laughs> Which is why uh, you'll you'll have the job. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations. Yes. What's the parking lot? Like? There's more where that came from. Oh, I I hope not. Guys, maybe everything is in a squad activity. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's cool. yeah, just relax your bowels, your mind. Pathetic. Imposter. Jinx. 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 No, you jinx. Are you supposed to be a lumberjack? Ah! Ah! <laughs> you wouldn't happen to want to go chop some trees, would you? I'd be delighted. <laughs> <laughs> I think our job here is done. Where are you going? You can't leave. Aye, aye, aye. We well, ain't never leaving you. Good boy. Here. Hail to the king, baby. It came from inside me. Srechka. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to shut the door or? What? All right, please join me in welcoming to the SGF stage Monster Hunter series producer, Mr. Riozo Tujimoto. One star! One Thank you, Jay. Today, we are Monster Hunter Wilds. We have the latest footage. Today, we are going to be a full screen. We are going to be a full screen. お披露目の大型のモンスターも出てきてますのでそちらも注目していただけたらと思います Thank you, Jeff Hello, everyone We prepared a very special trailer today for Summer Game Fest I want everyone to be on the lookout for a very mysterious large monster near the end of the trailer as it's an important monster within the game はい、えー、本作で,ではですね、えー、と没入感とアクションこちらの融合を目指して開発を進めておりますえー、モンスターハンターワイルズは2025年にプレイステーション5、Xbox、Series X、S、そして PC で同時発売となります。Xbox, また今回はですね、えー、プラットフォームの垣根を越えて一緒に遊ぶことができますので、そちらも楽しんでいただけたらと思っています。As you'll see, we're working to deliver a gaming experience that, immer that merges immersion and action. I hope players look forward to playing with their friends. Ja vím, kdo to je. To je ten frajer, co Melikarovi furt prodává to Japučíno. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S and PC. Hej, eh, sajgo je na rýmasu ga, eh, 8 gacu ne okona ajeru Gamescon no opening night live. Ko čira no hou demo atarasi ezo motte iki masu no de, mina san tano shimi ni shite itadake ta to motte olimasu. Který kreten právě napsal večerka Game Fest v Dementi. Lastly, there will be a new trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds at opening night live at Gamescom in August. Our first public hands-on playable demo of Monster Hunter Wilds will also debut at Gamescom. Thank you. We 
Sen Algaip. Kamu çumek seveyi bakayım çerevum. Čel jsem, že lidi chtějí román storyline s tou blondskou, co je ve 12. sekundě traileru. Já vím přesně, kterou myslíš. No. Jako kdyby mě bavil ten Monster Hunter gameplay, tak tohle to reálně vypadá pěkně dobře. Kež by řekli, you will see what hunting is all about a najelo Bloodborne 2 logo, to bych normálně tady rozdrtil ptákem tenhle ten stůl. Thank you, Riosa Sun. We will see you at Gamescom in August. Now, during last year's PlayStation Showcase, the game Phantom Blade Zero from mm, S Game wowed us all with dobře. its blazing fast sweet. combat and stylish art. Well, I'm honored to share with you the brand new trailer for the game featuring all real gameplay. Here's our final game of the show, Phantom Blade Jak Zero. Jak final game, kurva. I'm so sure it's just another look at Elden Ring. Astrobot bude mít mimochodem v dílech sedici Jarnam Armor. Tak to je super, ty vole. Že deset let po Bloodborneu bude Astrobot mít Bloodborne Drip. To jsem přesně chtěl. Dík, Sony. No Mafia trailer nebude, protože 2K řekl, že budu mít jednu velkou hru a to byla ta civilizace. Zvládnu taky. To je ta borka z prvních Kingsmenů. Ty padá sweet, ty vole. Ne, že ne? That looks so good. Full demo that Media will be playing this weekend, so you'll hear much more about that. And that's going to do it for our Summer Game Fest live show. Thanks to Joy for joining us. Thank you, Jeff. I had such an amazing time. Happy Summer Game Fest, everyone. The king, baby. Thanks, Joy. And we have so much more, so stay tuned, because Day of the Devs is coming up live right now on the stream, featuring an hour of indie game reveals, including the next game from Cappy. And that's followed no, by the Devolver, Devol uh, Devol uh, Devol uh, Devol 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 for other event streams this weekend. And we'll see you again live this August 20th in Germany for Gamescom opening night live. Thanks well, watching, games everyone. Going on Remember, no. Day of the Devs starts right now. Papa. Papa, Jeff.
No, můžeme se teďko podívat na hodinu na Day of the Day. Tak to měli i oni, super podíchu. To vám bude to z si ta hororovka. Si můžeme teď na hodinu podívat na 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 Day of the Devs a potom ve dvě ještě Devolver Digital, který za sebou mít troll konferenci s Topro. To si musím podívat znovu na tohle. Hail to the king, baby. Peggy 18. Peggy 18. The best laid plans of men don't always come to fruition. Man proposes, but God disposes. And then boots you right in the balls. <laughs> These two young fellas Má pesa na sebou celou dobu. Tady si prostě ková meč, no to už není jenom broušení, tady si reálně budeš moc udělat vlastní meč. Sorry no, kamarádičku. Jesus Christ be praised. There are many sinners in this world. Come on, that's what I'm doing, bro. Blood. Many sinners. I'm RP, dude. Sinners in this world. Shukačka v kuchyni. Bro, tam prostě vopíchal ty vole. No, my bro, tam vopíchal kuchařku. Oh oh. PlayStation hráči mají PTSD, když to nevidí. In the end, we all face your judgment for what we should have done. Kámo, co to tady je? Co tady je za... Já se omlouvám, ale... Nelíkárny! Na lejvárny! Absolutní mega balony! Tady z toho bude dubovat vašu, to já to úplně vidím. God, is this retribution for my sins? To bylo jako střelba za jízdy, je pěkně svý. Mě by zajímalo. Tady jako ukazuju Luko střelbu za jízdy prostě, že je reálně funkční. Mě by kurva zajímalo, kdo do píči trefí tu střelu za jízdy, když v jedničce. Máš ty vole i s level 10 luko střelbou, problém trefit králíka, co je 5 metrů před tebou. Fucking kumans! Kámo, tohle z toho oblíhání, že můžeš reálně prostě halapartnou schodit žebřík. Nebo házet šutry, to je TF. To ale ty kamále jako do píči, ty vole, to je takových jako 20-30 frajerů, který reálně tady mají ty vole v obležení. Jako já se bojím, že tohle buď v té hře nebude, nebo to bude mít 30 fps day one na PC. A kuše je sweet. Dvojtečka uzavírací závorka. Co tady bylo? Pěkný zbroje. To je reálně nějaký noční přesun. Fight proti pesanům. Krásné. Krásné, nádherné. 0,50 pre-ordered. Hail to the king, baby. No jistě, gamer. gameři, kámo. Gameři. 
Má to pár let rozestu pod jedničky, nebo to hned navazuje? E, měl by to hned navazovat, měl by to, měl by to vzít hned po konci jedničky, no. Saints and Sinners, hezký, no. No, Alan Wake 2 už má rovnou launch trailer, Night Springs. Night Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Different every... Tu, tu, first expansion. A to je na epiku tím pádem, protože to, že jo, Alan je na epiku, ten není na Steamu a ještě podle mě dlouho nebude. Nejhorší hra na ovládání, hned jsem to odinstaloval, co má dobil ožrala, co nezaplatil za sekeru. Odinstalovali s někým a jinak jako by to, uh, ono, že ti ten kuneš rozbije hubu, to se stane i mně na hardcore obtížnost, naštěstí ono jakoby, a teď samozřejmě ten Vávra byl fikanej, že jo. On tam dal asi šest různých způsobů, jak tu misi hnedka v první lokaci můžeš splnit. I když prohráš proti tomu Kunešovi, že jo. Ty můžeš vzít kamarády a zbít ho, ty ho můžeš uplatit, ty můžeš prodat věci, ty ho můžeš okrást, ty ho můžeš zmlátit. Ale já jsem rád, že ty si našel sedmou slovenskou taktiku, no a prostě tu hru odinstalovat. Hlavně je to další hororovka. 1984 východní Německo. No jaj. It's as if you took the modern design sensibilities of today and went back in time and made an entire console worth of retro games. And it's coming so soon. Hi, I'm Derek. Ten body cam jsem ti posílal, stojí 30 euro. Body cam už vyšel a stojí 30 euro, jo, multiplayerová hra. Welcome back to Bodycam. This might be one of the most realistic looking games out there at the moment. One of the most photo. Oh my. Na druhou stranu jako ten koncept, ty vole, respektive to zpracování je natolik zajímavý. God. Je to docela vyzkoušeno. No, it's gonna go. Jako zkusil bych to. Stalker má datum vydání na září, no, pátýho. First and foremost, these are not mini games. Někou kostíku za deset, dvojce, dík za osm. Dáme hodinku, ať můžu dát refund. Aha, máš. Expansive worlds to explore. But every single game is a complete experience from its opening title screen to its ending credits. There's a story that connects all these games, too. We invented a fictional company called UFO Soft that developed these games for a fictional 80s game console. This company's history spans from 1982 to 1990 and the games get more technically advanced as the years go on. And as you explore the timeline, you'll find that some games have sequels or recurring characters. We also thought about the limitations of the hardware we devised a strict 32 color palette as well as audio restrictions to make you feel like you're in the world of UFO 50, no matter which game you're playing. But one area where we did not have a case cast away new stitch to some hral, and I keep Baroque spot keys because probably just to build banger genres. And we strive to make sure that each game felt like a unique experience. Our goal isn't just to remind you of a bygone era. It's also to provide 50 fresh experiences. We like to think that UFO Soft was a company that was ahead of its time. Perského prince jsem dohrál za 60 minut, to bylo super, dvojku jsem nehrál. All the unlocked from the start, so you can explore the collection in your own way. Every game's not going to be everyone's favorite, but figuring out which games you like is part of the fun. With so much variety, you're sure to find something to get lost in, whether you prefer fast-paced action games or thinky strategy games. And we all have fond memories of going to a friend's house and browsing their game library for something to play together. So half of UFO 50's games have multiplayer, either co-op or versus. Needless to say, UFO 50 has been in development for a long time, but today, we're very excited to finally announce a release date. That's right, UFO 50 is coming to Steam 
on September 18th. Please find our Steam page and wishlist the game so that you can be notified when it comes out. The developer of this next game should be a pretty familiar face, so it should be no surprise what they've cooked up. But nevertheless, it's still a world premiere. So take it away, Spry Fox. Co za píčo Venisu? What? Počkaj, každá hra není FIFA nebo Assassin's Creed. Boj se, já očividně jsem ve špatném biznisu. Ještě mi řekněte, že každý film v kině není Marvelovka a já se reálně tady... No in-game ads, no extra, to je Netflix reklama, no jistě. Takže tohle to je doslova Netflix hra. Hi everyone, I'm Dave Ettery, the co-founder and studio manager of Spry Fox. And I'm Jamie Antonis, lead narrative designer of Cozy Grove Camp Spirit. We hope you enjoyed the worldwide premiere of Cozy Grove Camp Spirit. Dobrá, a proč jako by ukradl Indiana Jonesovi jeho klobouk? Mu nepřijde jako. We started Spry Fox 14 years ago with the goal of making the world a happier place. This is the first game we're launching since we became part of Netflix. That's allowed us to focus all of our energies on making this game as delightful and meaningful as possible, and to bring it to all Netflix users without any advertisements or in-app purchases of any kind. We feel really lucky. As you just saw, Cozy Grove Camp Spirit takes place on a haunted island where you'll assist an unusual assortment of troubled but insanely cute ghostly bears. Each bear has a unique personality and backstory that unfolds through your interactions with them. It's a spooky but heartwarming life sim game where your small daily acts of kindness advance the story. We want Cozy Grove Camp Spirit to be a game that you can come back to at your own pace for months if not years to come. We want it to be a game that brings you joy and relaxation Failed whenever you need it most. And hopefully, it'll be a game with a story that sticks with you forever because the characters really make you care. Cozy Grove Camp Spirit is launching soon, so pre-register now on your mobile app store to be the first spirit scout on the island. We'll see you there. Are you a dog lover? Then you'll be super into our next title. Hell, I'm more into cats, but this game is just oh, yeah. so cute, I can't help but be into it. Enjoy Hello, this teaser from Studio Kaja. Talima and publisher Don't Nod, featuring a puppy and their person. Hey, hello everyone. My name is Ben. I'm the founder and creative director at Studio Tolima. We're a small indie studio based in Brussels, Belgium, and we are working on our first title, Koira. Dog Adventures. Best first impression, eh? Koira is a narrative game where you wake up in a snowy forest and encounter a small puppy who got trapped. You set him free, and together you go on a beautiful adventure and set out to reach Koira's house. This relationship is really at the heart of our game. In Koira, you go through a musical forest, filled with sounds to discover and interact with. For example, each character and animal in the forest is voiced by a different instrument. And you can use their voice to interact with the world, to activate ancient statues, to speak to whimsical animals, and to earn the trust of the puppy. To progress through the story, you can also manipulate items and use your new companion's unique abilities. With these, you can solve puzzles, but you can also just play together. For example, that's Furioso. No, then, no, that like, 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 like George Miller, who is around Mad Max, that's a better game. Especially when you're playing Mad Max, Mad Max is really much more lovable than any film. Better yet, if it's got a beautiful art style or a captivating narrative to pull you through. Kromě We use this core set of mechanics in a wide variety of interesting ways throughout the adventure. Never hesitating on any one idea for too long. Keep things feeling breezy, playful, and respectful of your time. Respectful of your time. No, tak to si definitivně Ubisoft developer je, když dělali Valhalla neřekli. The world exists on a sprawling, interconnected grid, on which you'll find towns full of lovable weirdos to chat with and advance the story. Wilderness spaces to navigate, full of optional puzzles and exciting mysteries. And dungeons teeming with monsters to puzzle your way past.
or through. Told through expressive comic style cutscenes. We follow Gemma on her journey of self discovery. Heading out beyond the walls of her town, she soon discovers a beautiful, inspiring world. But also one ruled by fear and a strange, immovable force called the Static. Can she disrupt a culture of stagnation? And find a place to fit into it? Mě se bude měl jsem rád, ale že jako když se všichni bavili, já měl sociální fóby. There's never been a bigger red herring than the developer name Cozy Game Pals because their idea of cozy is a little twisted. Here's your world premiere first look at the very first release from Blumhouse Games. Blumham, Blumhouse Games, takže je hororovka, tak. Amy, are you okay? Do you see anyone? Nah, it's totally empty. I hope the board looks like cozy games. Let's go. With hands entwined and hearts aligned. This is not a radio station. This is not a radio station. What was that? Anyone there? 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 Tak když tam Gold GF, tak je to celá dobrý. Hello. Amy. Just go home. To není Radiohead, to je Lighthead jenom. Dobré, na tyhle ty pucle mrdám. Viděl jsem emblemy nějaký, který musí skládat do hromady, jak ta hra jde do píči. To je dobrý title card, jak to očko je roztáhnutý svým. A few months ago, this next game appeared on the interwebs, out of nowhere. It, it mystified us. It seems like a novelty at first, but then you realize just how profound its mechanics and rendering engine are. From Crescent Moon Games and those dang games, this is Screenbound, a game. Hey guys, it's Josh Precise, and I'm the game director of Screenbound. Today we'll be talking with Kyle McKeever, who's the game developer. We'll be talking about the game's mechanics, how it started, and how it's going. Hi, my name is Kyle McKeever, and I am the developer of Screenbound. And Josh, you and I have been working together on Screenbound for a couple months now. Do you want to talk about the idea of how Screenbound came to be? So I was watching a video of someone playing a Game Boy, and... I don't know why it came to mind exactly, but just seeing the image of someone holding a device in their hand with an environment in the background and something happening on the screen made me think, how could you link this all together into a game where you're playing on the screen and you've got a 3D environment and they're both linked. Mm -hmm. It started with a little prototype of just a character holding the device, having an endless running motion and jumping at the same time as seeing it in 2D and 3D. And then the other part of it was the controls from the prototype. They weren't set in place. Ty vole, to list to je pro TikTok generaci, kdy tam je jakoby na pozadí je hra, ale ty na Game Game Boy máš Subway Surfers. Looking in front of you. So at first we're like, okay, let's maybe we can just do a 180 so you can at least go backwards because we were constantly moving forward in 3D space. So we tried that. That felt a little weird. And then at that point, I was like, "I think that this is a game break. This is a game that people are familiar with. Our first-person shooter. Why don't we try FPS controls? Do you recall 2030? It will be a full-time game. 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 The 2D world that's on the screen is actually projecting an environment as a 3D world, which is also how it works in the level editor, because the level editor is 2D, and once you finish your level or you're finished working on it, it actually builds the entire 3D geometry out and creates a new world. This is actually done in a conference where the woman's wife is. 
a se tam někoho zastřelí nebo zaškrtí. Both dimensions are equally important and you have to be paying attention to both to get anywhere in the game. Because first of all, the enemies are in 2D. So if you're walking along in 3D and you're not looking at the screen, you're going to die probably within 5 to 10 seconds. Ty musíš kontrolovat, ty enemy, musíš kontrolovat do obrazu tím současně, no. The distortion effect on the screen and that's where like the two dimensions meet. Což vlastně to jako vytváří. Dobrý je, že, dobrý je, že já tady s tím, s tím mám praxi díky tomu, jsem streamer. There is a game inside the game, inside the game, inside the game. You only see in 2D, or you only see in 3D, like the fan. Yeah, you kind of solve puzzle elements more so on the 3D side, but then you survive threats by focusing on the 2D side. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll talk soon. No, to je Our nápad, no. takes what you might consider a dream job and adds a heap of dread. You play as a zookeeper tending to animals, except something is terribly wrong. Oh, oh, Developed by an international hrače. team at Clapperheads, this is Zookosis. And I promise you you've never weekend. seen giraffes Jakub, like this Jakub, to je hra. You think they're cute? I don't. <laughs> you've all been to the zoo. And each of you has your favorite animals. But do you know what happened here at night behind closed doors? I'm Valentin Shukin, the lead game designer of the Zukozis game, and I invite you to become a night zookeeper. Oh boy. Oh, are you finally awake? Good, get up, it's time to get to work. something in the works that you're not ready to know about yet. The plot of the causes was written in the best traditions of the thriller and horror genres. We aim to create a dark atmosphere resembling the works of Hans Giger, Lovecraft and Edgar Allan Poe. With just a motherfucking Lovecraft action, textures and environmental props. This is our mobile veterinary station. Here you'll be mixing medication for our animals. Are they sick? Well, they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals. We have some quite rare specimens. The mutation, the, the parasite and the infection that's happening to these animals, it's kind of like reprogramming their biology. The giraffe head acting like a large anaconda, slithering with its jaw unhinged, try to bite you. The concept of the faces of each animal having their own unique design in their mutation. There also will be many endings in the game. Each of the endings depends on the choices made by the player during the game. Planning out all the endings was quite challenging. We dedicated a substantial amount of time structuring the paths and dialogues into a unified framework to ensure seamless functionality. Every zookeeper is entitled to a service car. This one's mine. If you perform well tonight, you'll get one in the morning. Should I tell her you're staying here for the night? Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. Your main goal will be to save the edibles, including infected ones that have turned into mutants. Save them and save yourself. We really hope that you will enjoy the Zucosis release in this summer. Wishlist it on Steam and follow us on social media. Thank you so much for the support. See ya. Why are you so jumpy?
and that's the game. That's Except the game. not quite. You can see in WoW Waiting by Optillusion Games, waiting is always an option, but not the whole story. And that's what I like about our next title. It's more than meets the eye. See what mischief you can get up to while waiting. Hi everyone, I'm Dom, the founder of Optillusion Games. We are a game studio based in Irvine. Today, I'm thrilled to reintroduce our latest game, while waiting. <laughs> Hrajou čekání v životě. Ty vole, pointa tadyhle z té video hry bude, že kdo furt na něco v životě čeká, umře starý a bez zážitků. No i ty vole, tyhle ty fronty v Disneylandu, to je velice realistický. To jsem nemusel hrát hru, vole. Jsem zažil. And embody good old-fashioned patience, or perhaps you want to get up to a little tomfoolery, or maybe a lot of. Hra o čekání Starfield, přes něj můžeš dát Starfield. For people who really want to do something, you can find your own way. Plot twist, že dára nikdy nevíde. We also have prepared a list of meaningless challenges to help you with it. If they're too hard or maybe not your cup of tea, that's okay. We also have a very, very helpful fidget button, specially designed for you. Just press it, explore over 100 hand-painted levels, each chock full of mini games, fun little interactions, Easter eggs, and things you should definitely not try. Mom Zoobies! To je hra pro mladou generaci, která prostě je reálně. Mladá generace je o tom, že by se měl učit, že by se měl učit se nudit. Že dnešní děti, co už mají prostě smartfony a tablety od tří let, tak už se jim nedal ten prostor, aby se no, prostě nudili. Když se nenaučíš nudit v dospívání, zabavit se vlastně bez tyhle tady z těch stimulů, jenom jako prostě umět čekat, nudit se nějakou kreativně se zabavit, jenom sám. To zváří velký problém potom. Mě by zajímalo, jestli se dá očekávat, že to bude dobrý. Add to wish list. I'm staying. I mean, wish list. During the selection process, this next game really caught my eye. It's got cyberpunk vibes, horror vibes, ghost vibes, all the vibes. With this game, Toronto-based developer Rocket Adrift really captured some. Check me vibes, my vibes, all the vibes. Psychroma is a cyberpunk horror game. One of the concepts that we wanted to really emphasize was identity, what it means to be a, who you are, and how horrific it might be if that was stripped from you. The protagonist has amnesia. If you don't know who you are. Amnesia. The idea of losing yourself, it seems like it should be the one thing that can't be taken away from you. We wanted to set the game into a kind of cyberpunk future. We were really interested in the paranormal concepts and the more grounded Microsoft tam bude i ten novej dům, pravděpodobně. That fit well with the story that we wanted to tell. The idea of what makes humans human, <clears throat> having your environment really impact who you are and what you're dealing with, this kind of dystopian future. That's kind of horrific in itself. In our main character, Hayes, we also decided to make them non-binary and biracial. 
part of that is what like creates a rift in their ability to like connect with other people. And so Psychroma was a great way for, for me to explore that part of myself. And, like not being black enough for the black community and obviously not white passing. And I've never really been able to explore that or really talk about that openly until now, I think. <laughs> We like to write from our own perspectives, and I feel like that's really helpful for a certain kind of player that's looking for that in their narrative-driven games. It really is amazing to see people interact with the media you made and, like, get it. For anyone else out there that's looking to make impactful indie games, it's going to be hard, but the feeling that you get when you get that game into someone's hands it, there's nothing else like it, and I, for me, it's, it's way worth it. Do -do -do. It's time to get cozy, and this game is about as cozy as it gets, because it's about houses, just not quite in the way you'd expect. By Tanant Games, this is Building Relationships. And I'm here to show you probably the most stupid game you'll see all day today. Tak to nevím, to je jako docela těžká lačka. game where you play as a house on a date. Aha. And it's called building relationships. In this game, you'll step on you if you ask them nicely. You'll also find these Chesters hiding around the island. They're not looking for a date, they're in a very complicated polycue, but they'll help you unlock new abilities like jumping and wave dashing. If you're looking for a break, there's a bunch of fishing spots around the island. So the <laughs> local wildlife might not be what you expected. Oh, it looks like there's a few questions on stream. Let me take a look. Is this a dating sim? Not exactly. There's some dating elements, but the story all takes place in one day. So Think of it more like a short hike, but stupid. Are you okay? No. Is my mother proud of me? No. <laughs> Can you have sex in the game? No. But there is some plans for DLC because just like in real life, you have to pay extra for that. Hello. Relationships. Wish us now on Steam. <laughs> what am I doing in my life? Last summer, Day of the Devs featured a little known game that celebrates the everyday and turns it into something therapeutic. It became an absolute hit, and we're oh so happy to world premiere their latest DLC. DLC, 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 DLC! I'm Annie, and this is Lucas. Here we are, working hard, finding stars for a little to the left. It's a game where you solve puzzles by organizing household items. We think it's neat that there are different ways to arrange things. In our game, you find stars with each arrangement that you discover. And we really leaned into this idea for our new DLC. Ty vole, tohle z toho je něco, co mě nebaví v mém vlastním bytě, ale hrál bych tu hru. Seeing stars is all about multiple solutions. Tohle z toho bych koupil Denise jenom proto, abych ji nasral, že v moment, když má prostě uklizený perfektně a seřazený svůj byt, tak má hru, kde to není uklazený. A bude to muset ještě všechno se skládat, jinak prostě se začne klepat. Jako Monika v přátelích. There's a lot to be excited about, but the best thing of all might just be more cats. 
a little to the left, Seeing Stars, available June 25th. Have you ever wanted to play a game forever? In nah. Hello Again, developed by the folks at Soup Island, you'll delve into ancient ruins, and thanks to a strange time loop affecting the island you're on, you'll have plenty of time to explore every inch. Hello Again. The guy I exist to it, my show never developer behind okay. Hello Again, which is a game about being trapped in the world's coziest time loop. In Hello Again, you play as a diligent postal worker who is assigned the task of delivering a package to a remote island. One shipwreck later, you awaken stranded on the island and trapped inside an unexplained Jakoby, tady je jedna lepší hra, která udělala shipwreck. Mene se Shipwreck 64. Začíná úplně normálně a definitivně se v ní pak neděje nic creepy. This is a dense game with lots of strange locations and phenomena. So a lot of your experience will consist of walking around and filling your journal with observations. As you explore, you'll discover that everything runs on a clock. Tyhle, to tady, the weather, už je to ta pasta. The tides, to the ancient Stejně circus, nechávu, proč jsou přátelé tak prej seriál, když 80% epizody řešení, či tam bon se našel v Rousově, play, Rousově kapy, Joey má k tomu naprosto skýzo pro povídku a Chandler se připravuje na veřejnou popravu za to, že neumil nádobí v 18.32. Nadkonec to skončí retardovaným love trackem. Chandler se připravuje na veřejnou popravu, že neumil nádobí. 18.32, dobré. What happens when you mix the gameplay and mechanics of Outer Wilds with the vibes of Animal Crossing and the small town feel of Groundhog Day? The answer is hello again, coming in 2025. So our next title, Tom the Post Girl, is a narrative adventure game by Zurich-based studio Oopsie Daisies. And aptly named as Tom, our main character has plenty of oopsie daisies of her own in this game. It has a twisted sense of humor. Masha má taky oopsie daisies, když hraje louko. Většinou to oopsie daisy je racial slur. That's yeah, it's probably fine. If you're looking to connect with your inner voyeur, this is the game for you. Hello, we're the Oopsie Daisies, a small studio from Switzerland, and we are here to present you our debut title, Tom the Post Girl. She has a job to do, you know. Tady máš nejdelší hru, co existuje. The Longing. Sen sucht the game. Tak to bylo kurevský ro. Všichni ví, že nejdelší hra je Mafia 2. Přesně tak, je to o playstylu. As you will follow her, you will witness a wide variety of scenes, each more disturbing and chaotic than the last one. But the is that really cool of I am. continuing to do so? <laughs> Quite the opposite. We were inspired by the Little Red Riding Hood, <laughs> which you can recognize what? in the main protagonist, Tom. We then used her curiosity and exaggerated it to the max. <gasps> Tom DJ Khaled in the corner! We had a lot of fun creating this very strange, unique, hand-drawn environment for you to explore. And hope that you'll also enjoy stalking around in it. And another one! Calling to all fans of creepy cute narrative games. If you're curious to follow the development of Tom, make sure to follow the development of Tom. To to the development of Tom. To follow 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 
My name is Sasha and I am the lead narrative designer. A co mě sere nejvíc je, že zde názor nemůžou nechat kurva pro sebe a místo toho dávaj do video her, který nemusím hrát. To za make mladej chlet, když si prostě nemohl jen tak doma dělat video hru nebo hudbu, nebo točit na YouTube, ty pičo. It will explore the theme of love, dealing with loss and grief, and finding the loss and grief. Jakarta. This game was the golden child of my best. Jakarta je nejlepší Instagramový filter. Nekvotujte mě. Who sadly passed away in March 2022, and I know how much he loved this project. Sáv dobře PS1 bylo trivialnější udělat hru. Já nesouhlasím s Vejro, protože si museli distribuovat na tu PS1, což znamená CD. To už jenom to, že si musel mít fyzický release. A muselo to projít Sony, aby to bylo distribuovaný. Znamenalo, že to je těžší, než ji udělat dnes. Že dneska ji uděláš a můžeš ji dát na Itch.io, nebo ji můžeš dát prostě na, na stránku, kde je Name Your Own Price, jo? Nebo ji doslova dát jako freeware. Plus bych hádal, že to, plus bych hádal, že u PlayStation 1 i ten software nebyl tolik intuitivní, jako dneska reálně máš ty video game makery s asetama a se vším. They are so good. Uh, and Lavafa will be making the soundtrack for After Love EP, including the music Rama plays in the rhythm game. We are also really happy to be working with our. Lidi, co nesnáší uh, anime, ale pak si zahrajou jakoukoliv soulovku či japonskou uh, so zřezačku, kteří jsou doslova inspirovaní často s anime. To jako jo, až na Dark Souls. Dark Souls třeba reálně není jakkoliv inspirovaný jakoukoliv zasranou mangou nebo jakýmkoliv anime, což je super a proto to mám rád, ty reálně ty Souls. After Love EP. We all need a good mystery to unravel. Kdo tam měl licencovaný Radiohead songy, tak Jaroslav řekne, že to je hra roku. Zvejra zaspojená starý čas je jak developnul Pac-Mana za 20 minut. Hi, I'm Jimmy Oyser, co-founder of Caligram Studio. And it's my pleasure to introduce you to our mystery adventure game Phoenix Springs. When I finally find him, my brother makes me promise not to go to the Oasis. So, of course, it's where I end up. You play as a Iris Dormer, a reporter whose search for a brother leads her to this beautiful, yet eerie desert oasis named Phoenix Springs. It is a beautiful place to explore. Čet za 8 minut je Devolver a já potřebuji fakt na záchod, takže já vás tady nechám teďko chvilku. Dejte mi... Dejte mi 3 minuty. Ať se stejnu vrátit na Devolver Digital. Já se vsadím, že vozná mě Hotline Miami 3 a oficiálně tím zachrání gaming jako takový. Děkujeme. The game has been in development for seven years now. We're a small team of three, and uh, one of the biggest challenges was trying to crack the art style, which is a combination of 3D and traditional 2D hand-drawn animation and illustration. Over the last year, we've been incredibly lucky to be able to take the game on the road. Places like South by Southwest Sydney, the London Games Festival, or IndieX in Lisbon, where he won the award for Best Art Direction. Um, but really what we saw, the value of these events like Day of the Devs, it's not just being able to get the games in front of players, but really connect with other developers, especially in small teams, who might be facing the same challenges you do. I will never 
stop looking for answers. The game is set to release on September the 16th, 2024 on Steam. Uh, so you know what to do. And in the meantime, on behalf of the whole team, uh, thanks again to the other devs. And we really can't wait to welcome you all into this little world that we created for you. Road 96, Lost in Harmony, 1111, Memories Retold. Developer Digix Art out of France has had a pretty prolific run, and we're so very proud to world premiere their very next game. Spoiler alert, it has a lot of water. Hi everyone, we are Alishan Ayut from Digix Art. Here is the project that we've been working on for the past three years since Road 96. We are really excited to present to you our new game, Dice of Tomorrow. So get ready to be surprised and enjoy the show. Welcome to Pleasureland, my friend. Best place to... Wait, you look familiar. Welcome to Pleasureland, my friend. Wait, that's not the thief. But it was your friend who did it, right? I made the mistake. You want to talk to me? Get on your knees first. Bastard! You won't get away with it. Your friend escaped with my ozen. And now, you'll pay for it. With Day of the Devs, our mission has always been to celebrate the creativity, diversity, and magic of video games. We strive to give a voice to emerging and underrepresented talent and to connect players with developers and their games. For more than 10 years, we've featured hundreds and hundreds of games at in-person events, and our digital showcase have been watched by tens of millions of fans globally. Better yet, it's all been completely free. Free admission for attendees, free to watch our streams, and free for developers to participate. It's common for developers to pay many thousands of dollars to be involved in other showcases and events. But Day of the Devs has never charged developers to participate and we never will. This is only possible due to sponsorships and charitable contributions from people like you. We want to continue doing Day of the Devs forever, but we're not going to lie, these events and shows cost a lot and fundraising is hard. We're so enormously grateful to everyone who has supported us all these years. But for Day of the Devs to continue, we're going to need ongoing support. So please, if you love discovering new games and supporting emerging developers, if you would like for us to keep on shining the spotlight on creators, and especially if you are in a leadership position at a studio, publisher, or platform, and have budgets that you can tap into, then please consider donating to Day of the Devs. Without your donations, without your sponsorship, without your help, none of this can continue. And remember, we're official 501c3 nonprofit organization. So all contributions are tax deductible. To find out more and make a donation, head on over to dayofthedevs.com or email us at jayofthedevs.org. Thank you so much for your continuing support. Stay tuned for Devolver Direct, coming up right after Day of the Devs. Thank you to our generous individual contributors and corporate sponsors. We could not do Dice this of tomorrow. You. And here's a... Welcome back to Body Cam. This might be... Dice of tomorrow. Welcome to Pleasureland, my friend. Best place to... Wait, you look familiar. Welcome to Pleasureland, my friend. I'll introduce you to the joys of this amazing place. You're okay. You're not gonna die, right? That's the bastard! What, what, what? You'll learn what it costs to steal from Obin. I hope it's the right one. They have the same clothes. Wait, that's not the thief. But it was your friend who did it, right? I made the mistake. You want to talk to me? Get on your knees first. Bastard! You won't get away with it! 
Your friend escaped with my Ozen. And now, you'll pay for it. Výběry tvých kamarádů a favorite streamerů. Takže když to zahraje Melichar, ale já to pak budu hrát po něm, tak tam budou jeho rozhodnutí a já z nich budu moc těžit, jakože mi tam položí kudlu a podobně. A já to budu moc hrát podle streamerů, nebo vy reálně, když já to projdu, jak si budete moc zahrát můj playthrough, respektive tam budou ozvěny mého playthrough. To je co, to je co zajímavá myšlenka. Tak, co vaří Devolver? When people ask me what I like to do with my free time, I tell them that these days, I'm afraid I really don't have any free time. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby. Classic. My life is pretty much scheduled down to the minute. Okay, I don't have a job, per se, and I'm not in a relationship right now, but I do have my interests. I guess you could say I'm passionate. Maybe even a little obsessive about Devolver video games. When I think about the many enjoyable hours I've spent playing my games, I myself, what a wonderful world it is we live in. Can I say thank you? Thank you all those who so damn fun. I saw it. Proč to, kamo, oni v každý konferenci musí doslova tam dát toho tlaj mámy jenom proto, aby trolili ty lidi, co na to čekají. And that's why today is so important to me. To prostě today děláš chválně po všech těch letech. Today is Volvi's birthday. Ono nebude, Voj, to nevrátí se. Máš víš, kdo se taky ještě nevrátí. So to ale dobrý hrnek. Take call to the lamb, for example. A roguelike video game developed by indie studio Massive Monster and published by Devolver Digital. The game was released on the 11th of August 2022 and has sold over 4 million copies to date. The game follows a lamb who was saved from death by a godlike stranger named the One Who Waits, and must repay the debt by creating a royal following in its name. It received three nominations at the 19th Day of the Cup. What's this blast? Yeah. Local cop, <laughs> Co tam bylo za oktagon? Tady nahoře bude kazeta, na který bude hotla máme tři, já to úplně vidím. People forget that putting on a good party can be a lot of work. It's a lot of pressure. Everyone is relying on you as the host to get things right. You don't want to humiliate yourself, do you? Not in front of him. But we thought you were executed by the 
head of state. No, I was not. Now pass me that onion. I'm gonna need a snack if we're gonna take on the The Crush House is crushing it as the country's number one reality show. And things are heating up this week. The insatiable fans, beloved sponsors, and savvy network execs won't believe what's in store for our cast of potential lovers and haters. Monday. Sees the tension between Priscilla and B finally boil over into an explosive confrontation. Into a steamy moment by the fool. Tuesday is a bit more People chill I need a game. Io brings the cast together with a bopping saxophone performance. As Charlie brings the cast together with a bopping saxophone Devolver performance. Devolver zašel v tý v rámci prezentací tak daleko, že zavedl válku dvou četerů o historii videoherního vývoje. <laughs> Kamo ty Devolver, nemá je prostě Devolver, je tak napřed, že platí Zvejrovi a Mášovi, aby trollili čet. Dobře, tak je to jakoby je to nějaký dating sim, nebo to je nějaká hra, kde se něco děje pod tím barákem a láš ship v 64. But a birthday isn't just about looking backwards. It's about considering the future. Sure, we've had some great times over the years, but who's to say the next years won't be even better? I know Volvi has so much more to offer us. Who knows what he'll do next? <laughs> Perhaps something truly unexpected. Maybe even a new genre. Takhle MF3 čekají prostě na tuhle máme trojku a si z nich dělají prdel. I made that up myself, but I like it. Something fast-paced, inspired by martial arts movies, set within the confines of a vast yet claustrophobic city dominated by vicious gangs. Each run is different depending on which of these crime syndicates you take down first. Maybe even crafted by the talented Dead Cells designers. Maybe creepy, eh? I just buy them Devolver merch, and pomalu to chceme pro ten borec. Now that's the kind of game I would play. Now that's the kind of game I would play. Now that's the kind of game I would play. Vypadá svít, ale je to na mě už jako moc rozpixelovaný. Na to asi, abych si to pořádně užil. Of course, video games are not nikdy kurva nehrál videohru z Vany. Some people prefer to spend their time outside exploring the natural world. Or watching their team win the big trophy. Yay. 
Ó, až když máš náš tým vyhraje nějaký trofé. I say whatever works for you. We all have our passions. And if you're going to be passionate about something, Tak asi dostává Meanwhile sám sobě. Argumentuje, proč zůstává permanentně doma. If you don't care about anything passionately, well then I feel sorry for you. Ha? I guess what I'm trying to say is that it's important to be true to who you are. That might sound easy, but a lot of people are just too afraid. Oh, yeah. Too scared of being judged. To look in the mirror and say, yes, this is who I am. I'm not a robot. Talos Principle 2 is a puzzle adventure video game developed by Crow Team and published by Devolver Digital. A sequel to the Talos Principle 2014. The game was released in November 2020. Hey, Eva The sequel builds on the first game's origin story of robot kind by exploring the newly emerged robotic civilization through the newborn eyes of 1K. It has been described as thoughtful, heartfelt. Come on, to the Road to Elysium is a three-part coda that allows you to dive deeper into the world of the Talos Principle 2 and put your puzzle-solving skills to the test. In Orpheus Ascending, you return as 1K and enter Cerebi's mind to retrieve the shattered fragments of her personality. Set in a gorgeous environment inspired by ancient Egypt, this expansion challenges you to solve puzzles unconventionally, giving Cerebi a second chance at life. Step into the shoes of Yakut and visit the Isle of the Blessed. Challenge yourself with a wide variety of never-before-seen puzzles using familiar tools, culminating in the Hexahedron, a large, continuous puzzle cluster set in a mysterious crooked tower. Into the Abyss takes you on a journey through a dream world, full of the most challenging puzzles yet, taking place on a series of floating islands and shattered dreams. Road to Elysium continues the evolution of the robot world, providing you with a new perspective through a series of thought-provoking new stories. Let's start with the row. Tak to se nedivím. Good evening, sir. I uh, hope I'm not interrupting anything important. No. No. We've had some complaints about some noise. One of your neighbors has described hearing strange sounds. <laughs> strange Hail to the king, sounds. Baby. <laughs> uh, that would be my TV set. I, I like to keep my shows cranked. Uh, yeah, I like to get lost in, in the experience. Okay, maybe in future keep your TV and any other devices at a reasonable volume. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of the law against noise pollution. I don't want to have to waste any more police time dealing Hail with the king, petty baby. issues like this. Who's <laughs> busy anger food? Kamo, prosím, už dropněte release day. Ty pičo! Taková chání je kolekce. Takže oni udělali, že ty boty ti dávají efekty jako masky v Hotline Miami. No ty píčo, tak to je moc. Oh! 
Are you okay, sir? Yeah. We should yeah, ask you, um, Chairman. Tell us, go. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what? Uh, first thing tomorrow, I'm I'm gonna go around to everyone in the area. I'm gonna make things right. Uh, a formal apology and uh, a card. <laughs> I don't think that's necessary, sir. Just keep the noise down. Yeah, I'm gonna s switch it off. Uh, a, a day without TV would probably do me a world of good. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, uh, thank you, officer. Where'd you keep your TV, then? Hmm? Oh, um, I, I, I have a, a few just dotted around the place. Yeah, you know, like I said, I, I like to uh, immerse myself in the experience. So I think I might need to pop in, take a look around the place, if that's okay. Well, uh, I, I'm expecting uh, some guests now, so um, uh, perhaps another time would be more uh, appropriate. Sir? You need to step aside now. Oh, Sir, oh, step oh aside. that sound! That, that's, a, that's an old plumbing issue. Receiving it's really, it's a matter for the landlord. So uh, I could just give him a call and he can fix it. Please. Officer. Nothing. Hello, police. Hello. Resting heart rate is precisely 65 beats per minute. <laughs> Rapid elevation is often attributed to stress. My heart, my heart machine, is an American independent video game development studio founded by Alex Preston. The studio is best known for developing Hyper Light Drifter 2016 and Solar Ash 2021. Rumors suggest that they may have another project on the way. It may or may not feature a rich interconnected world built to be approached in many ways, non-linear, with emphasis on clear choice for where to go next. This purely hypothetical game's narrative balances the bleak reality of the characters with absurdity and humor. God help me. Fish pig in the water.
warlocks have trapped us in. That madman. He won't stop until he has turned everything into toxic waste. Yes, Robotia. And if my calculations are correct, this pig's toxic slime will reach the city center in just under two hours. Heck, it could even reach the banking sector. Grumpfish, no. Grumpfish, anger. But there must be a way. We can't just give up. We just need... We just need... <laughs> How about a helping hand? Bobby. Oh, but we thought you were executed by the head of state. No, I was not. Now, pass me that onion. I'm gonna need a snack if we're gonna take on Fishpig. And we need to get back to Buzzbrick before Fishpig, the Warlock King, turns all the money in Buzzbrick into slime! <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, Mr. Pennyworth, but the economy is looking a little unstable. Ha! No, no! Fiala! Abshedim kurvi statni rozpočet! But you can't break the spirit of the bankers. You don't get it, do you? <laughs> Nobody can stop me now. Not even your precious... Bobby! What? what? No! Sorry we're late to the party, fish pig. But we didn't want to turn up empty-handed. No! no! <laughs> well, I guess we don't have to worry about Fish Pig anymore. I'm looking forward to just hanging out with my buddies. Who's up for a pizza at mine? I hypothesize a ham and pineapple slice or two. Sorry, friends, but I gotta get going. Huh? But Volvi... I've got to get back to the Vol dimension, Volvinia. I've got a family to look after. And besides, pizza pie is greasy and gives me shit diarrhea. He's right, guys. No pizza tonight. Eating healthy is important. Je konec. Co je za gudis? Possessor. Tenjutsu, anger food, konečně na tom vydání, kurva. Darkly comic third person shooter. Goat, takže můžeš hrát konečně za Ayova album. Nový dungeony, heretic, OK, nový síly. Talos Principle 2. Virtual Volvi e -pad. Ha. Let's go, Volby. Let's go. Fatal Software Error znamenal, že Volvis nepřestal srát a nakonec umřel kvůli tomu, že se mu vybudovali hovínka. Software na v dark webu. Od prvý od 96. je to playable. Prostě je velice sas, že by tady jde Volver dal něco takového. Já se jdu podívat, co to je. Uh-oh. 
Ha? To je on? Ale... On se pětkrát vysral a šel spát. A on si odmíš laborovat. Drž hubu. Co? Ale... Ale... Vyť spí, kurva! Dobrá, můžu hrát hry? Kámo, to není možný tohle. Našel jsem ten proklik. Jasně, Mášo, jasně, netrapoš se, ok, dobré, ty kuchoc kurvený, netrapoš se! Kámo, ty vole, může přestat? Ty mu takhle uklidíš, ale jako nezastavíš ho. Hej, ale seriózně, do prdele, kde je nějaký jistrek? To nevydali jenom takovouhle hru, ne? Na co je to po... na co je tohle tlačítko? Dobré, už přestaň. A počkej, ty už vypadá unavený. Tam bylo v popisu napsaný. Tam bylo v popisu napsaný, že ta původní verze... Že ta původní verze... ...se bagnula, protože on prostě umřel. Protože se tam zesral. Hej, proč mám pocit, že on sere rychlejš? On je mrtvej! On umřel kvůli excesivnímu sraní. Volvo je v píči, GG. To ne. Dobré, a co to kurva tady je za ty RP, prostě ty vole komentáře? Bude vždy YouTube stream zase jede, a tak tam už nebude nic nebude. To už je ukončené.
Ja on nezabil. Další vraždu. Podezřelý je ozbrojen. Potvrzuju. Tak asi si dáme rychlý repete, dámy a pánové. Jste ready na repete? Asi si dáme dneska reset raníků. Jste ready? Tak si dáme reset dneska, dámy a pánové. To bude zajímavý. To je zajímavý den dneska. To je dneska velice zajímavý den, kamarádi. Tak, to se mi dlouho nestalo. Tak si dáme jeden rychlej resetíček dneska. Wow, dobrý, no.